Hey, Eva, tell everybody about your trip to Canada. Uh, it was a school trip for French class. We went to Quebec City and it was really pretty there and all the people were really nice. What'd you do there? We went dog sledding, snow tubing, we went to the ice hotel and we like went around the city. How long was the bus ride? 16 hours. Each way? Yeah, it was a little longer on the way there. Well, good deal. Do you like to go back to Canada again someday? Yeah. Good deal. So welcome back everyone, Mike here. Kind of a chilly evening here in Pennsylvania, but springtime is coming, which reminds me of something. I read an article the other day, I forgot about these little buggers, uh, but for our area right here, this is the year for the 17 year cicada. Now I don't know if you're familiar with what those are or if you have them in your area. It's kind of like a locust, they come out of the ground every 17 years. They got like big orange eyes or something if I remember correctly. All I really remember about them is they are loud. I mean, it's like this screeching, screaming sound nonstop. And in areas where they're really highly concentrated, they say you'll get at least a million, maybe even a million and a half per acre. And they're loud. I mean, you'll be out here with headphones on. It, it'll drive you crazy. So we have that to look forward to. But anyway, now that springtime is coming, I want to get a little bit better organized. Uh, we cut a lot of firewood this winter, but not near enough. And when I'm out in the woods during the winter months, I'm either taking like the RK-37 with the grapple or the Ranger. It all depends on the conditions. If it's nice and frozen out, I'll take the RK-37, the grapple, the dump trailer, and I can get a lot done in a hurry with that. But when things are kind of sloppy and slimy out there and real muddy, I'll take the Ranger out. You don't tear things up quite as bad with it, but you also don't get as much done. But now that the you know we turn the clocks over the weekend, you get home from work, you can get more done. I want to get everything set up uh, in the big tool rack. Get all my gear out of the Ranger and put it in the big tool rack and just keep it there. And that way when I go cut wood, I can just hook up to it with the RK-37, hook the dump trailer on behind it, and go. And I'll get way more done. It's uh, The Ranger works great, don't get me wrong, but you're constantly moving stuff around. I have stuff in the back seat, the front seat, the compartments. And then, you know, if Melissa wants to take the dogs for a ride or if we have company come over, you're taking everything out of it. So I'm going to get all my firewood cut and stuff in the big tool rack. So I thought I would take this opportunity to kind of show you everything that I use and that I need for when I'm cutting firewood. And uh, we'll show a great way to how to get all that stuff out in the woods on your tractor. All right, so we'll go over this stuff kind of quick. First off, I've got the old Mingo marker. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I like to cut my firewood the same length. Mingo marker. I also have, always have a tape measure and sidewalk chalk. Children's sidewalk chalk. I think pro loggers use the same stuff, I'm not sure. Then I've got my helmet, my chaps, got the log ox. Always have a few wedges, my 3M headphones. Always just like to have a little hatchet around just in case. This is for the log ox when you have it set up as a lifter. Uh, it goes right on your belt, works really well. This goes on the log ox as well, turns it into a pickaroon. It's nice to have a pair of pruners with you for, uh, you know, like when you're on a tractor and your rops, you're hitting branches and things like that, you can stand right there on the deck of your tractor, reach up, take limbs down with this very easily. Fisker's axe, like to take that with me. Got this little ammo can for some of the smaller stuff. Got my fuel jug, bar oil. I even have a can of this. Pre-mixed, ready to go. Have a new chain that I haven't needed in a long time. Couple chains, small strap, wrench, steel two-in-one sharpener, gotta have that. And check this out, big toe strap, rated up to 20,000 pounds, four inch by 30 feet. And knock on wood, I haven't needed it yet. I have never gotten a tractor stuck where I couldn't get it out like with the front bucket or the backhoe. I probably just jinxed myself by saying that, but no, I haven't. Never needed pulled out on a tractor. But if I ever do, I'll have that. So if you've been following our channel, you've probably seen the big tool rack before. I'll kind of go over it real quick in case you haven't. Okay, tailgate plops down. 
It's got a rubber mat in it. It's got a hitch on it. And that hitch actually comes out and I have a vise that goes in there if you want to put a vise on the bottom of it. And there is just tons of storage on the big tool rack. It's got, uh, it's got wheels on it. And when you hook it up to your three point, I have a quick hitch on the RK37. Just back up, pick it up. You can lift your legs up and just take off. But it's got, you know, compartments all around it. Say you want to haul like fence posts or lumber or anything like that. You got one of these on each side. You know, you can put lumber or fence posts across there. You can put your string trimmer or whatever you want in here. These are pretty handy right here for strapping things in, keep them nice and secure. Shovels, rakes, whatever you want in here. More storage pockets on each side here and over there. Without anything in it, this weighs, I think, a little over 300 pounds, but if you want more weight for ballast, you can hang suitcase weights right on this right here. But anyway, that gives you a basic idea. We'll get it loaded up with all my firewood gear and uh, see how much room we have left. This looks like a good spot for the log ox right here. Put my axe right here. Boy, that is like made for that. Look how tight that is. That is perfect. I can put my hatchet here. A few chains here. Another chain over here. Some of the smaller things I'll just put in this ammo can. Got uh, four wedges. This is for the uh, pickaroon for the log ox. New chain. Wrench. Wrench. Uh, this is the holster for the log ox if you're using it as a lifter. Tape measure, sidewalk chalk. Throw that right in here. My toe strap that I hope I never need. There, look at that, nice and tight. Mingo marker. Three M headphones. Steel moto mix. Put my pruners in here. Steel two in one sharpener. A little strap. I think I turn these on. Chainsaw. Then all I have left, and I haven't even used any of the space in the bed yet, is my fuel jug, bar oil.
chaps and helmet. So that is going to work out very well. I have all the gear in this picture. All of that is on the big tool rack and the only thing I have in the bed are my chaps, my helmet, my fuel can and my oil jug. Everything else is in all the compartments all put away nice and neat and it'll stay there too. Everything's nice and secure when you're going out through the woods you're not going to lose anything. Really looking forward to it. It is 7 o'clock right now and it is still daylight. I mean there's probably another half hour of daylight left. Pretty excited about springtime. We've got tons of projects, tons of things that we want to do here on the property. Uh, we're really excited, but uh, a little bit warmer temperatures, a little bit more sunshine, things will dry up and it'll be time to get to work. Uh, but anyway, I think that's about it. If you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks. <laughs>